In this video, we'll take a look at creating booking and cancellation policies for our meeting rooms. A co-working space often needs to set specific booking rules for one or more meeting room, as well as add cancellation policies in case someone cancels their booking last minute. Office R&D allows you to create rule presets in the form of a booking policy or a cancellation policy that can be applied to a room via its resource rate. To do this, you should navigate to the settings menu and select platform. In the calendar and bookings tab, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page to find the booking and cancellation policies. Office R&D will have one default policy for both bookings and cancellations, but you can add more by clicking the Add Policy button in the top right of each section. Let's add a new booking policy first. We can start by giving our policy a new name. Let's call it Boardroom Booking Policy. Next, you want to configure the booking rule for this room. You can set a maximum booking duration for the room, which in our case can be four hours. This will prevent members from booking the room for longer than four hours per booking. You can also allow or disallow recurring bookings, as well as control how far into the future they can be scheduled to occur. If you select the Limit Recurring Booking Span option, you can add the number of months in the future that you want to allow using the date of the booking as a start. Let's limit this one to 12 months into the future. Similarly to recurring bookings, you can also limit how far into the future a regular booking can be made. Let's set this to three months. You can also prevent last minute bookings using the limit time before start of booking option. You can set this in either regular or business hours. Let's require at least one business hour before the booking. Bookings can also require approval from an admin. If you select the request approval option, bookings with the setting turned on will show up as tentative for members making the booking and will send a notification email to all addresses specified in your notification or booking settings. The next setting controls automatic cancellation of bookings by requiring the members to check into the space before the booking start time. The system would cancel the booking if the member doesn't check in in a certain number of minutes before its start. Let's leave this enabled and require check-ins 10 minutes before the meeting start. The next option allows you to send your customers reminder emails before bookings start. Note that this option is made mandatory when you have automatic cancellation enabled. Ideally, you want to send out reminders before the cancellation period, so let's send out reminders 30 minutes before the bookings start. Finally, we can enable or disable back-to-back -back bookings. This would allow your staff to prepare and or clean the room before or after the booking. Now, all of the rules that we set up until now will apply for active members or members who have memberships for our space, as well as people booking rooms from the public calendar page. If you want a different rule set for members without active memberships, you can deselect the same as active member rule checkbox in the non-active member section, which will allow you to modify the same properties again. Let's keep the rules set the same way for both types of members and add the new booking policy. Now that we've created a booking policy, let's also add a cancellation policy. Cancellation policies allow you to add cancellation fees depending on how long before the booking the cancellation happens. Let's call this one boardroom cancellation policy.
By default, the Office R&D cancellation policies are separated into three steps, starting from 72 hours before the booking with a 0% cancellation fee. You can modify both the time before the booking as well as the cancellation fee for each step. Let's modify the first step to start 48 hours before the booking and the second step to apply a 10% cancellation fee between 48 and 24 hours before the booking. You can also add extra steps to the cancellation policy if you want to make it more robust. Let's add an extra step. To apply a 50% cancellation fee for canceling between 24 and 12 hours before the booking. You can see that adding and modifying an extra step to the policy will automatically update the final step for it, and it would now apply a 100% cancellation fee 12 hours or less before the booking you can now save the new cancellation policy. The final step you need to take is to make sure that these policies are applied for members who book the boardroom. To do that, you need to add the booking and cancellation policy to the resource rate associated with the room. Let's go to the billing module and then select resource rates. You can now open the boardroom resource rate and select the advanced tab. Under the advanced tab, you have two drop down menus, one for the booking and one for the cancellation policy. Let's add the newly created policies to each menu. Once we're done, we can update the resource rates and we're good to go. And this concludes our booking and cancellation policy video. If you have any questions regarding this or other Office R&D functionalities, make sure to visit our knowledge base at help.officerd.com or email us at support at to get further assistance.